Hi, I'm Patu from Free FinCal and in this video let's discuss how a new mutual fund investor can get online KYC via the Paytm Money app. This is the guide with step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, this uh, video is inspired by uh, what happened after I gave the talk uh, at the World Bank. I was approached by two uh, college students who were, who were working part-time at the hotel for the event and uh, they have been listening to me actually one of them were uh, one of them was actually was the person who was, ch was changing my slides and he told me that uh, 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 he wants to become financially independent too so uh, and so he wanted to actually start investing uh, in, in in mutual funds so i wanted a quick way for somebody uh, especially uh, for somebody and somebody at that age and uh, from a lower income background to uh, start investing in mutual funds um, of course it's always possible for me to call uh, to ask them to go see a distributor or go do it via the bank but i wanted a direct mutual fund option and uh, as of now the way i see it paytm money seems to be the simplest uh, there could be other uh, options like this and uh, therefore uh, uh, this video and this, I wrote an article about this. Well, actually, an article about this was published. I didn't write it. It was uh, it is the first uh, paid uh, content post that was uh, published at Free FinCal. And this video is based on the images, uh, on the screenshots uh, uh, based on that article. The link uh, for the step-by-step -step guide is in the description box. You can have a look at that. So uh, some of you wanted to know if I will uh, be able to uh, share my uh, talk presented at the World Bank. I can do that. Uh, I actually have a plan for doing this. Uh, I will talk about that uh, in the next few days. For the for, for now, let's get on with this. So you'll have to download this, uh, uh, the Paytm uh, money app from the Play Store and you'll you can uh, either uh, get an account uh, to, to access the app, you can either get an account uh, or you can use your email first. You have to get an account, you have to sign up for it. Then you have to use your email or mobile to uh, log in. The KYC process is a six, a six uh, step process. Uh, for those of you who do not know what a KYC, it just means know your customer. So according to uh, SEBI, every mutual fund investor should provide uh, ID proof uh, and uh, address proof to the uh, mutual fund uh, company via di either directly to the mutual fund or via uh, CAM, SCARVI or via these uh, investment portals and they must also do something known as an in-person verification. So uh, usually what happens is the, the mutual fund AMC send the distributors uh, to the houses of uh, houses or offices of the investors. They will uh, look at the investor check the ID, uh, PAN card, uh, uh, the uh, address proof and then uh, say that in-person verification has been done. Today in-person verification is possible uh, online. When um, before the Supreme Court verdict on Aadhaar came, mutual funds were started using uh, Aadhaar based uh, verification. Then there was an online verification with a, uh, with a PAN card and so on. Some AMC still have online verification. But uh, that, that will restrict you to a particular AMC, but this is more, more general, you can invest anywhere. And this is on the mobile phone, it can be done by youngsters uh, quickly, where in just about an hour, they should be able to do it. So the KYC process is a six step process, as you can see there. Uh, first, you have to check your PAN card. Uh, if, if the PAN card is already in the KYC records, they will say you are investment ready, otherwise you will have to upload it. We will talk about that. You have to submit personal details, you have to give address proof, you have to uh, mention a nominee and other declarations about uh, yourself then you have to provide communication details and bank account to uh, to the investment portal which is paytm money in this case so the first step is to enter the plan it will check and tell you whether you are K investment ready or kyc verified or not obviously uh, if you are going to be a new investor you will not be kyc verified and then you will have to enter your pan number and upload a very clear photograph of your then you will have to allow access to this photo and uh, so that's your photo it must be clearly readable the signature should be uh, visible and it should be clear and without a sign without a, a signature the uh, it will not accept the uh, your kyc will be rejected so you'll have to uh, upload the image crop it to the crop it to size and and then uh, submit it 
then now you'll have to give your full name as per the pan card date of birth as per the pan card gender service then you will have to uh, upload a signature you can sign on the screen but it is better to uh, sign on a piece of uh, white paper clearly and then upload the photograph uh, there have been questions about whether this can be misused or not i don't think this image can be misused i don't think there's anything to uh, worry about it so once you do that you will have to uh, do what is known as an in person verification so since this is online in person verification is done via video you have to record a video where you say my name is xxx as mentioned in the pan card and this is my in person verification video for paytm money you have to say that uh, shoot it in correct uh, proper background so that your face is clearly visible and the face that you that uh, that is shown in the video must match the face on the pan card uh, otherwise there will be problem so uh, then you have to upload that video that's your in person verification then you will have to provide the address details and then you have to submit an address proof uh, any standard address proof like uh, government documents like aadhar card passport or driving licenses anything that you are comfortable sharing you can upload uh, uh, along with these address details and then you will have to declare the nominee you have to add a nominee and then you will have to also uh, declare uh, what is your annual income and you have to de declare whether you are a resident indian or an nri and then whether you are a politically exposed person pep a politically exposed person is a member of parliament state assemblies judges gov governors etc etc i don't think anybody watching this video will be a politically exposed person so not politically exposed would probably be the default answer that you will choose so once you uh, provide these details you can then submit and then then you will have to uh, verify the email address so you have to make sure that uh, all the communications they send to you is is on a verified email address uh, so it doesn't go to spam so you have to they will send you an otp and uh, you have to verify that otp then you will have to provide uh, bank accounts please recognize that the mutual fund uh, investment is a closed loop process that is you have money in a mutual, uh, in a bank account you you buy mutual funds units with it then when you redeem the units will be given back to the amc and then the money will come back to the same bank account right so it's a closed loop so you, So choose the proper bank account which is uh, you know which has got uh, which where, where you have online access where you will be using and it should be a valid bank account not a dormant account and then uh, enter the bank account details they will verify the bank account by sending one rupee uh, to the bank account you will get an sms saying that one rupee has been credited just to uh, just to check so then they will be able to verify the uh, bank account so please, please be careful when you upload it So and that's it. Uh, once you do that, you can upload an account statement or a cancelled check to complete the bank uh, verification process. And once you submit it, your KYC verification has been done. Now you have to wait for a few days for the data uh, to details to be verified, and then they will let you know whether you are investment ready or not. Uh, you may get a error message saying that the person in the video does not match with the photograph. Then you will have to uh, hit that uh, cross mark and upload a new video. you may say the photograph is not clear again upload new photograph uh, signature is not clear they will say then uh, you can uh, uh, upload a new signature and so on now you can they will say some other details is not clear in via sms you can uh, find out what the details are and then go back go back and correct it once you do that again it take a couple of days to get the kyc process done so that's it that is as simple as that that's the uh, online kyc process for new mutual fund investors via paytm money there could be other portals which make this as simple as paytm money but i think uh, this online kyc process is a game changer for paytm i think uh, they understand that uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 lot of young people who have not invested in mutual funds and they want to tap it and i think it's a fantastic uh, initiative i do not have any kind of tie up with paytm i don't get any money for making this uh i'm just sharing this because i think it will be useful for people if you think you have any new uh, uh people who are say young investors who are new to mutual funds who want to start investing in mutual funds please share this video with them but please recognize that these portals make it very easy for you to buy multiple mutual funds once you are investment ready you can buy mutual funds but go easy if you want you can just use uh, the paytm money app as a uh, for liquid funds and you can use the verif kyc verif uh, verified kyc process and invest in uh, mutual funds elsewhere also that is also possible and i have also been told unlike an electronic kyc this is a full kyc and there is no 
investment limit on uh, this KYC process. So that's what I wanted to say in this video. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. If you uh, want to know, uh, if you want to, uh, um, if you want me to make a video on a specific topic, please let me know. I will, uh, if if I find it immediately appealing, I will take it up. Uh, so I'll catch you later. So have a great weekend. Bye. -bye.